first, this is Kim. I'll talk from a community relations perspective on the community investments we make to, towards medical workforce development on the corporate side, and then Katie's going to talk about the uh, foundation activities as the foundation is an independent entity. All right? Okay. So from the, for corporate giving, um, primary care, you know, an established relationship between a patient and the physician, was once the central grounding for our healthcare system. Now, as um, please mentioned, we are facing a shortage in primary care. In America, nearly one in five um, Americans lack adequate access to primary care. And as mentioned, health reform has placed a growing, at growing attention on, this incre on increasing access to and availability of primary care services. And North Carolina is among many states facing a shortage in health care professionals. So for our medical workforce efforts, um, as we're evaluating opportunities, we look for the following criteria. North Carolina-based universities or colleges that include programming in many, as many of the following as possible. So degree programs that fill a shortage, of, a shortage need within North Carolina, residency programs in North Carolina, because we've learned that if someone does a residency in North Carolina, they're more likely to stay in that state um, in North Carolina. Um, residency programs specifically in primary care, postgraduate work in a health professional shortage area, or residency programs, or postgraduate work in rural communities. So those are those are the initial when you first started this program initial areas of focus. So first, I'd like to talk about our collaboration with UNC. Uh, the UNC School of Medicine in Blue Cross Blue Shield, North Carolina, created a physician's assistance master's degree program at the University of North Carolina designed for retiring military veterans. The program will build on the medical experience and training that Special Forces Medical Sergeants received during their service and provide career opportunities for veterans who want to transfer their skills to the healthcare system. Approximately 80 soldiers are trained as Special Forces Medical Sergeants each year at Fort Bragg. Approximately 25 muster out at, the, at, the, at each service year. Um, in 2010, they conducted a survey that said that indicated that 92% want to pursue careers in the healthcare industry outside of the military setting. Of those, the majority, 48%, are interested in becoming physician's assistants. And as a, a primary healthcare provider, these men or women would be qualified to do procedures such as wound management, airway support, and trauma stabilization that few non-physician care providers, not non-physician care providers are permitted to do. The Blue Cross has pledged funds over a four-year period, over the next four years, to help UNC establish this master's curriculum, hire full-time program staff, and provide scholarships to assist the Special Forces medical sergeants who have transitioned out of the military. Earlier we mentioned about the shortage in primary care, and other studies have shown that by 2025, uh, the shortage could be up to 300,000 physicians, and I know the numbers are varying. Uh, simply increasing the number of physicians graduating from med medical school would be insuff insufficient to, to address this need. However, increasing the number of physician assistants would be increasingly helpful, as studies have shown that for every two PAs, physician demand is decreased by one. So this is a program that's a win-win for the community, for our vets, um, and for the healthcare system. With Appalachian State, our gift was focused on the College of Health Sciences, which has undergraduate and graduate programs in nursing, physical education, exercise science, social work, health promotion, healthcare management, and others. Funding was directed towards two endowed professorships, a distinguished professorship in the College of Health Sciences and a mental health professorship. Also a Dean's Fund for Excellence, which supported a variety of needs, but most notably a new lecture series and several other programs. In recognition of the gift, the university provided permanent naming rights on the Institution of Health, Institute of Health and Human Services building um, at the front entrance and on a main road sign. And Blue Cross's name appeared in program collateral materials and on their website. So regarding investments within programs, um, notably we, ha we made an investment in North Carolina Central University, Central, to their Department of Nursing. The funds were used for new technology to train nursing students and to underwrite research opportunities. With our funds, they created a very innovative space in their 
our new nursing building. The space reflects a true doctor's office environment or hospital room setting with like equipment and even mannequins that simulate health challenges for the students to react to. This real life work setting and the simulation mannequins will prepare students to address the chronic and acute healthcare needs. In recognition of our gift, they named the health assessment room, health assessment room after Blue Cross. Uh, further, Central is a historically black college and it's located in Durham, not far from the Blue Cross offices. So supporting this um, effort supports our diverse workforce goals as well. Blue Cross as a company is likely to benefit, may benefit from some of these graduates since we hire nurses as case managers and other roles. With Campbell University, the School of Osteopathic Medicine, um, focuses on primary care and family medicine with an emphasis on the underserved communities. The program will produce 90 primary care doctors each year, with Campbell becoming the North Carolina's second largest medical school and only med medical school with an exclusive focus on producing primary care physicians. We have some permanent naming rights um, on, on their simulation laboratory room, and these sim labs are used for training in surgery, emergency, emergency medicine, pediatrics, intensive care, and other primary medical needs. With Elon University, our commitment was towards their Masters of Physician Assistant Studies program and will help create this new program. It's a 27-month PA program which will enroll its first students this year. The goal of the new program is to address the ongoing shortage of primary care providers, as we've been talking about today, with a focus on both um, urban and rural communities in North Carolina. And last, but definitely not least, is our support of Duke University School of Medicine. Um, the funding goes to two primary areas, their uh, primary care leadership track and a new learning center. The four-year primary care leadership track is designed to train physicians who can take leadership roles as change agents in community health and primary care. It builds on a long-standing partnership between Duke and the Durham community to understand the causes of health disparities, create a strong research focus on community engagement, and learn how to redesign clinical programs to better serve patient needs at the individual and population levels. The Trent Siemens Health Education Center is a new building, and it was named after um, someone in the Duke family, Mary Duke Biddle Trent Siemens. Um, and it's actually the first comprehensive facilities upgrade at Duke since the medical school was, was opened in 1930. It's designed to acc accommodate a new team-based interprofessional learning and education sim and educational simulation uh, facility. The space was designed in a way to allow flexibility in which, which will accommodate for future learning styles. Most of the furniture and many of the walls are able to move to re reconfigure the space for an optimal learning experience. Further, similar to the Central University, students learn on simulation mannequins to have a more real-life educational experience. In addition to the recognition of the, the gift on the School of Medicine's website and cloud materials, a permanent plaque is placed outside of the Office of the Vice Dean of Medical Education, and Blue Cross is recognized on the a very prominent donor exhibit loaded up, located on the first floor of the building.